It's a beautiful tradition by the Raisal people that teaches children about sailing and boat building. I speak of the Cotton Boat Race, the latest one organized by the Sealand and Culture Old Providence Foundation. It's a, it's a tradition that uh, probably in our, in our olden time used to like, be a way to teach picnic, to know how to sail. Uh, I will know that this is uh, it's a tradition where some, some people still keep up, maintain it. The name so because they call it a cotton tree, where is uh, what you call in a Spanish saber. The big winner, Mr. Errol, talked about how he was able to beat the other cotton boats. My boats, when he let go, he started him, him start in journey. But then we still sailor like, guy left me out there and I never had the winner. After all, we catch the winner. I took up the next boat carrier, the boat was too heavy. And I left him making gala. Them tack out there when them tack. This is a tradition passed down from generation to generation. The fans of this activity invite young people to get more involved. You cut the cotton in the bush and you take your time. I learned, I learned from my father because he used to make them because this was a whole time thing for long years ago for Mr. Holson. We used Mr. Holson, Bahar, Mr. Marcy, Lino, Biba, all them had them big boat that we look up in. So after them get up, we, me and Adolfo Cardo, them take it up and start making them and we get like it. Even the mayor who was present promised support for these type of activities after the pandemic. I really, really am um, compromised with this activity and I really compromise with our traditions, so, so like how I say, when this open again, we have to keep up not only this, you know, all our tradition, providence. Our participants asked for the continuation of these types of events and thank the Ministry of Culture for their support. The festival will continue online with activities for children, encounter of experts, international guests and more from the 12th of September.